Hey guys, it's me, I'm back. Hopefully this is a quick video. It's been a long time since I've done a video, and I'm out of practice. I believe it was summertime when I last did one. And I say out of practice because this is probably take 63.5, 28, who knows. Anyway, hunting season is over which is the reason for the lack of videos, because that runs like September to beginning of January for the different things that I hunt. Hunting season sucked. It sucked really bad. Like, really bad. But I'm still here. I'm alive, so yay. Right? <clears throat> that is the main thing. Really quick, there's two reasons for this. There are a few reasons for this video. I shouldn't limit it to two. Um, it's time for a hobby update, which is the reason for these for this channel. Really, it's it's a hobby vlog for myself. Um, be, over the summer and um, last year, um, I kind of lost track of what I wanted from this channel, which I wanted to make it something that. I don't know. I guess I was experimenting. I was trying to do different segments and little shows and get fancy <clears throat> with things. And at the end of the day, this is my hobby vlog. Um, I was trying to put timeline on videos and how many videos and what like, crap. Um, it's a hobby vlog. I'm going to put videos up when I want to put videos up, how many I want. And what I want. Because it's my channel. And it's a hobby vlog. Remember that, Mark. Um, motivation otherwise for this video is to kind of add to and respond to Frazier and Nick, aka British Legion's recent videos about the decline of YouTube videos from the hobby community, especially historical videos. And uh, <clears throat> I've noticed decline too, and it's unfortunate. And um, I really can't say a whole lot because I don't contribute a whole lot of content to YouTube either. Never have been a huge contributor. But um, <clears throat> I do want to say a few things about it. Um, Nick made the comment... Um, that he saw some comments on Frazier's video about uh, people that started up YouTube channels and they got discouraged because subscribers weren't, you know, they weren't getting subs quick enough and people weren't commenting on their videos or they weren't getting enough likes. That's unfortunate. <clears throat> and it's unfortunate for a couple different reasons. Um, it's unfortunate because I don't think people were getting slighted or people were slighting those folks um, for for any reason. Um, it, it takes a while for your channel to get discovered. Um, <clears throat> I have 68 subs. I'm perfectly happy with that number. I'm grateful for the subs that I have. Um, this isn't a subs game for me. It's not about how many subs I can get. Um, so my suggestion to people that are starting a YouTube channel is don't focus on the subs don't focus on the number of likes number of views just put up content put up content if you're if it's not perfect to you it's fine just put it up you're gonna learn you're gonna gain experience and you're gonna grow in this community just like everybody else has so don't get discouraged it's not gonna happen overnight it very rarely happens overnight um, <clears throat> so that being said Frazier I finally subscribed to your channel what the hell was I doing I've been missing out um, awesome work uh, for those that don't know Frazier is doing Romans currently and they are gorgeous. Uh, that's a period that I will never do. I'm, inter I'm interested in it, and I think the minis are awesome. Um, 
but I won't. I, it's not one that I would do, so I'm going to live that through you guys that actually do that stuff. So, the other thing about the YouTube community. Well, the YouTube community is about socializing. Socializing with people that we would never socialize with otherwise. Um, whether it's just watching videos, you get to learn. I've learned a few things about Nick and it's even though we don't talk back and forth um it's different i guess but you know i've comments and, and things you get to know people by their videos maybe not everything which that's probably a good thing in all reality we don't know every deep dark secret of everybody it's what reality tv is supposed to be although it's fake it's not real Shocker. Spoiler alert. Um, <clears throat> anyway, I've met a couple people through the YouTube community that I would have never met otherwise that do this hobby. Uh, I've met Sean, Wahoo Warrior. Played a few games of bold action against him. Sean's a really great bold action player. He's been to a few tourneys. He does really good. Uh, through Sean, I've met Dan, who is now my regular gaming partner. We're going to have a game Sunday, here in about six days. Uh, we've played about five, six games together, bold action. Dan's a great guy, great opponent. Uh, we're on the same gaming level, so it's it's always a good time when we get a game in, and the games that we've played have always been fun. So I would have never met Dan if it wasn't for the YouTube community. I actually met him through Sean. Uh, Sean pointed him in my direction, uh, so thank you, Sean. Uh, that's another thing that uh, new YouTubers need to realize, too, is that it's the social aspect of it. You're going to meet people that you would never meet otherwise. So, that being said, that is enough of this. My battery's dying. So, um, the next thing you're going to see is a little bit of hobby update, because I'm going to turn this off and uh, turn on the hobby update. Take care, you guys. Talk to you in a millisecond. Okay, and I am back. Millisecond, right? So you don't see me. You just hear my wonderful voice. Uh, so I'm going to show you a couple things that I've been working on recently. Um, now that I have a gaming partner, uh, Dan plays Americans, which that's usually what I play. So uh, we didn't want to do any blue on blue. So I also had a German army that I was... Um, that I had put together as well and um, I've added to my German army a little bit and now I'm working on some Panzer Grenadiers that I'm going to put together as an army uh, so a couple of things that I've gotten recently or um, whatever the case may be to go with my German army I'm not going to put this in my list it's going to be probably more of a terrain thing but this is a uh, Rubicon German truck. Um, it's the first Rubicon model I've purchased and built. Um, I like their kits. They're really nice. Uh, easy to put together. Uh, really well fit. So the top is removable. Obviously it's not painted yet. Uh, so for my Panzer Grenadiers, I was running a Panzer IV. Um, I'm going to change that. I'm going to run a Puma now. And um, so this is the Warlord plastic Puma kit. Uh, it's a nice looking kit, but good lord, it's a pain in the ass. All that, all these rods and stuff are are pieces that you have to put on there. And yeah, it's it's a model kit. Um, I'll see how durable it is. I think it'll be okay now. Oh, I was kind of worried about the wheels there for a minute, but oh, it looks good. Um, it's going to be good in my army. Uh, should give uh, give my opponents a little tussle. Um, by putting that in and taking the Panzer IV out, I can add some more uh, troops to my squads, uh, which is good. So um, I just finished, and these aren't completely finished yet, because um, I, I want to do some basing on it. 
but uh, I got some Panzer Grenadiers. Um, I don't know how well you can see that. Hopefully it's okay. So that is my first lieutenant. Like I said, the basing has to be done yet on it. Um, this is his attendant. He's got the iron cross on. That was fun to put on. So there's my HQ, two man. I like to do that because of a small team. So the next thing that I'm I have, and I don't have everything done, obviously, um, I wanted to get some stuff put together, and with the Panzer Grenadiers, I wanted to make sure the camo looked okay. Um, so here is the spotter for my sniper team, or it's a plus one for the sniper team, but we all know it's a spotter role that that person plays. And here is the sniper with the uh, plastic Panzer Grenadiers um, box. It doesn't come with a sniper rifle, which is kind of a shame. I kind of wish it would. Uh, so I had to had to nick um, a sniper rifle from the regular German Air, German um, here Army box and the arm for it. Had to green stuff it a little bit to get it to fit right. I think they turned out okay. I definitely would like to hear some comments of you guys, uh, or see some comments from you guys down below. Uh, so the next three are going to be my NCOs. They're rocking assault rifles. My battery is about dead, so oh, I'm hoping this turns out okay for you guys. So I got three squads. I got a veteran squad that Dan does not like because it pours out freaking awesome firepower and then I run two regular squads this guy turned out pretty cool or so I think anyway kinda of biased, I kinda of was the one that painted him so anyway that's it for that okay well hopefully you could see Panzer of Grenadiers and my battery died, right? Perfect timing at the end there. So, uh, just a couple of closing comments. Uh, I do want to show you Knuckle Duster Mini. I don't know how well he's going to show up. Um, you know what? I'll show him at a different time. It's kind of dark. <clears throat> but anyway, closing comments. New, to, new YouTube channels. Just put up content. Don't worry about your subscribers. Don't worry about the comments. Unless they're bad comment people being jerks, basically. You're gonna have trolls out there, whether it's Twitter, Facebook, whatever. Just ignore them. Jackasses. Um, do your thing. Do your own channel. Post content. Be social in the community. Your subs are gonna come. Your content, comments are going to come, and your likes are going to come. Uh, British Legion has graciously offered uh, to give you shout-outs, so take advantage of that as well. Don't get discouraged. Keep putting out the content. People are watching. They may not comment for whatever reason. Just keep putting it out. Okay? That's all we ask. That being said... Uh, be good to each other, be safe, enjoy the hobby, and happy hobby time. Later, guys.